So welcome back to French Countryside Life. It's been a lovely couple of weeks. Um, we've had some family here, some friends here. It's funny, you know, people always said, oh, you go and live in France, they have people here every, every five minutes, knocking on your door, wanting to come visit. And for the first year or so, no one came. I thought, what's wrong with me? <laughs> Why does any, anybody want to come see me? But we've had loads of people here, and it's been lovely. Uh, last week's video has done really, really well with uh, John and Teresa. So um, that's interesting. Lots of people are interested in the um, in Brits returning to the UK. So don't know what to make of that one. Um, we went shopping this morning, and after we'd uh, been shopping and took the trolley back to the little you know, the little trolley park, uh, something occurred to me. So when we go to Super U and Brico and, and some of those places, you have to put a euro in uh, to get your trolley, um, which encourages you to take your trolley back to the trolley park. But at uh, Leclerc and Hyper U, or Ibr U, um, you don't have to put a euro in. Yeah, everybody still takes all their trolleys back. Now, I don't know whether that's because the people here are quite civilised or because everybody just is used to putting a euro in and taking a trolley back. It's just become normal that you take your trolley back. So, discuss. Comment. <laughs> all right, so... Um, there's one thing that I wanted to mention actually. It's a really good channel. Okay, now I've done this a few times. Um, and you've always been really, really supportive, uh, which is very much appreciated. Uh, by me and those that I happen to mention. Um, you did it for AJ in France, who's brilliant. And there's another channel called uh, Life in Rural France. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, it's a Canadian fellow and his wife. Uh, two and Glenn. Um, the reason I call it Two and Glenn is because there's another uh, chap that um, I speak to on YouTube. Uh, one and Glenn. So, so I don't get mixed up. One and Glenn and Two and Glenn. Anyway, I digress. Um, yeah, life in rural France. Um, go and have a look at it. Give him a subscribe. And um, I know he'd appreciate it, so would I. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Oh yeah, don't forget that um, we're just getting questions in now for uh, Jane and I's uh, Q&A. So pop some questions into the comments or send me an email. Um, the email is in the about section on the YouTube channel homepage. So um, I'll put the email in the description anyway, but you can, you can leave a question in uh, the comment. So, right, what we've we got to do. So I'm going to do some more work on these shutters. Seems to take forever, but they will get done. And I uh, just bought a trellis for the or an extension of the trellis for the kiwi plant. Um, the kiwi plants are going a bit mad, so um, uh, I bought the extensions, but that has to be painted before it goes on the wall. So, I'll get on with that, and uh, yeah. Okay, so that's the shutters sanded nice and smooth now. Um, they've both got a little bit of warp in the um, in the planks, a little bit of concave warp on, on them. Uh, and they've also got some, not cracks, but um, 
divots in the wood where uh, there's been sapwood. <clears throat> so, plan is to get a couple of coats of primer on, then put the hinges on nice and tight, and hopefully, because uh, they're such substantial hinges, that will hinges that will help help to um, straighten out the warp a little bit. Then I can fill the holes and divots with the wood filler. Because um, if I put the wood filler in first and then put the hinges on and stretch the wood, it'll probably it'll uh, break the uh, break the filler. So that's the plan, Stan. So uh, let's go on with that. Okay, so that's one coat of undercoat on this side. Wait for this to dry, flip them over, this won't take long. Put one coat of undercoat on the other side, let that dry overnight. Come back tomorrow, another coat of undercoat on, then put the door furniture on, and then we'll be ready to start filling. Oh, suit you, sir. Good, okay, let's get on with it. Okay, so that's both sides uh, painted now, and I think we call it a day there. Incidentally, <laughs> um, that oh, suits you, sir, comes from uh, the Fast Show. Um, I think it was showing in the US, but it's called something different. I think it was called Brilliant in the US. Um, ran from 94 to 97, I think. Uh, four series. It had uh, Paul Whitehouse and Charlie Higson, Carolina Hearn. Just the funniest, funniest sketch show. All, all little sketches and all little characters and every character had a catchphrase. And uh, just the funniest thing. It's just genius. So if you get five minutes, get on YouTube and uh, check out the fast show. Especially suits you, sir. <laughs> so funny. Anyway, I can feel uh, I can feel a glass of wine coming on, so um, yeah, I can definitely hear it. Yep. All right, so uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So it's the next day. I've just put another coat of undercoat onto the shutters. While that's drying, I'll get a coat of uh, the stain onto this trellis. I've filmed this about eight times because I couldn't remember what this was called. I had to go and ask Jane what it was called. <laughs> Honestly. Anyway, all right, let's get on with that. Right, here we go then. Bit of movie trivia for you. See if you can identify this movie from these five words. Put your answers in the comments. Thrill me with your acumen. Do you know what movie that comes from? Put your answer in the comment. Okay.
Okay, so that's all got the stain on it now. So that's ready to go up on the wall out the back. So back to the shutters. Okay, so let's get all the hardware back on the shutters. Um, then they'll be ready for a bit of filling and a bit of sanding again. And then we can get them over to Caff and Pete's and we'll get some uh, two or three coats of the final overcoat on them. And uh, yeah, jobs are good. Moving on. So that's the uh, the shutters uh, nearly done. Good news is that um, where I've bolted the wood to the hinges, it has, as I thought it would, pulled that warp out of the wood. So that's really good. So all nice and straight. The bad news is I thought I had some little black screws to attach these these bits, but um, it appears not, sadly. So I'm going to have to get those, um, not a massive issue. So then it's just a little bit of filling and then we can uh, take them to Caff and Pete's. Um, I'm sure they need a bit of fettling to get them to fit properly. Hopefully not too much. And uh, jobs are good. Okay. So, quote of the week from Mark Twain. Uh, he said, it's difficult to win an argument with someone who's intelligent but it's impossible to win an argument with someone who's stupid. So, have a think about that one. I'll leave a link to Life in Rural France uh, in the description. So if you can uh, pop over there, give him a subscribe. I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Uh, if you want to buy a t-shirt, uh, there's a merch link in the About section of my YouTube homepage. So you can go and do that. Um, I'll also leave my email address uh, in the description. So if you want to send some questions in for the Q&A for me and Jane, um, that'd be brilliant. Don't mind what they are, just ask. And if we can answer them, we will. Um, so thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to give the video a thumbs up, maybe share it on social media and um, press the notification bell and maybe think about subscribing if you're not subscribed already. And all that leaves to say is my there you go and I'll see you soon.